OPSEC isn't a checklist. You do once and forget like your gym membership. It's a lifestyle, a suspiciously boring personality trait, and the mental habit of always assuming the internet is trying to photograph your breakfast and sell it back to you. It's not just tools, it's thinking like an opponent. Identify what about you is valuable, figure out how it leaks, and cut the easy channels first. That mindset is literally the front page rule of obset communities. Think process, not magic bullets. Okay, now breathe. Let's optimize your obsec like you're tuning a vintage car. Small, precise changes that make you less catastrophic. First, define your threat model. Who wants to know what you're doing? Is it your ex who still has your Netflix password, random scraping bots, or a motivated adversary with time and money? The answer radically changes everything. If your threat model is embarrassing roommate screenshots, you do not need to behave like you're plotting a heist. If it's someone who wants to ruin my life, you treat it like a project and reduce single points of failure. Next, stop worshipping tools. Yes, Tails, Cubes, and the whole Linux distro will save you fantasy have their place, but an OS doesn't fix a dumb habit. If you post your name, unironically use the same password everywhere, or brag about my burner phone in public DMs, no distro will save you. Tools are hygiene, not religion. Use them where the threat model demands it. If you go deep, cubes or a hardened, isolating environment is for people who need compartmentalization. For everyone else, good habits plus threat-appropriate tooling wins. Now let's talk about the sneaky things that actually unmask people. Fingerprints you didn't know you left. Stylometry, your typing rhythm, the way you swear, the phrases you overuse, is a fingerprint as loud as your passport. If you write the same weird sentence in two places, people on the OPSEC threads obsess over this because it works. Treat your text like DNA. If you want to be anonymous, vary your style, or better, don't write things you'd mind being attributed to you. That's not paranoia. That's common sense with a tinfoil hat that actually fits. Practical hygiene. Separate everything by purpose and never cross them. Browser profiles, separate VMs or containers for risky activity, and compartmentalized payment methods. Rotate what can be rotated and make sure profiles don't leak cross signals. The lazy one browser, two identities approach is how doxes happen. Pick habits you can maintain. Physical OPSEC is hilariously underrated. You think your laptop camera cap is edgy? Cool. But also, don't read private stuff aloud on trains. Don't leave devices unlocked. And if someone can shoulder surf your passwords while you Instagram, congrats. You funded their day. The world loves easy wins. Lock screens, full disk encryption, and two-factor authentication, not SMS if you don't want phone hijack soap operas, are the low-calorie changes that avoid catastrophe. And please, avoid single solution obsession. Instead of asking, what tool do I use? Ask, what problem am I solving? And let the answer follow. Run the minimal reproducible stack for your needs. Secure messaging like Signal for personal chats, privacy-oriented email if you need it, and encrypted backups because having your life explained by a recovery email is embarrassing and sad. Context matters more than fashion. If you're connecting accounts to social platforms, scrub metadata. Photos love to carry GPS, and be mindful of friends who overshare. Your friend who tags you in a photo? He might be a joy, but he's also a breadcrumb machine. The posts warning, you leak more than you think, exist for a reason. Start reading them and stop being a data farm. Finally, learn from fails. The OPSEC folks aren't trying to gatekeep. They're curating horror stories so you don't star in one. Read fail threads, understand how people got owned, and fold those lessons into your daily tiny adjustments. If you want to be anonymous, be annoyingly consistent at being inconvenient. Be disciplined, be boring, and stop posting your life like it's a contractual obligation to overshare.